Now, EFF leader Julius Malema will address a media briefing later today. I understand it's set to start at around 12, and he's expected to touch on the party's election preparations and also to respond to allegations of financial mismanagement. These allegations have been made by a former party member, Tembing Korsi Raula, and tracking the story for us is ENCA's uh, Govan Whittles. Uh, Govan, it's going to be an opportunity for... Uh, Journalists who will no doubt be gathered there at that media briefing to ask some serious questions, I imagine particularly uh, about the uh, allegations of this former member of the EFF. Certainly, Michelle, and the EFF has a number of questions to answer regarding uh, the state of its party internally, especially after those explosive claims by MP Tembingo Si Khaula. Um, so chief among them, obviously, would be uh, the allegation by Khaula that uh, Julius Malema admitted in the recent Central Command team meeting uh, that the party received money from VBS. Khaula also claiming that that admission was made not only with minutes of the meetings, but audiovisual recordings thereof. Uh, so the EFF expected to respond to that. They've already said that Khaula is disgruntled because he didn't make the list um, of people that would be sent to the National Assembly after the elections. But uh, there are a number of other issues uh, which the party still needs to clarify, uh, especially regarding the management of its finances um, and whether or not it's true that the finances are managed um, practically by the president and deputy president of the party and uh, then dispersed to the other structures. But there are also a number of other issues, uh, including the EFF's um, um, current engagement with Karima Brown, the ENCA talk show host. Uh, we understand that the Independent Electoral Commission has finalized the complaint that Brown laid against the EFF, and we expect to hear from the party what the outcome is and uh, where to hear with its relationship with regards to its relationship with the media. So these are just some of the issues of course, uh, the EFF expected to clarify uh, how it expects to perform in the upcoming national and provincial elections. We've seen uh, polls which say that the party will score significant inroads uh, in provinces such as the Northwest and Limpopo. Um, we're keen to hear exactly how much work has been done on the ground and what it expects after the national elections. But of course, uh, the EFF uh, commander-in-chief, Julius Malema, didn't give any hints as to what the briefing would be about. We expect some feedback from that central command team meeting um, and of course a number of other topical issues such as what's going on in Alexandra. Remember that's where the EFF held their media briefing after the 2016 elections where they announced that they would be giving their support to the Democratic Alliance um, and helping the party uh, then gain governance over the city of Johannesburg. But as you said, it's expected to start in about 30 minutes and we'll get more clarity from Julius Malema then. Yeah, and just as soon as it begins, of course, ENCA now will take you there live for that press briefing by EFF leader Julius Malema. That's my colleague, Owen Whittles, there.